Batman. The man, the myth, the legend. The guy who makes all the other superheroes go, wait what? You know him, and you probably love him. Batman has had a rather interesting history with the video games industry. Aside from the Arkham series, there have been a number of well-to-do and entertaining Batman games over the years. Not every game is as great as the greatest standard you could hold a game to during its particular era. Still, it's good to look back on the past and witness the sheer number of Batman titles that could be fun to play. Make no mistake though, there are a bunch of awful ones as well. Let's take a look at the top 15 Batman games of all time, and remember, think in terms of good Batman game. Batman the Video Game NES The Batman naming convention for video games goes off the rail for a few years, as every title is seemingly just Batman. Batman the Video Game first debuted on the NES, and was based off of the Tim Burton film of the same name. Though it changed quite a bit from the movie, Electrocutioner and Killer Moth as bosses anyone, but it was still received well for its time. Batman Returns do yourself a favor and play the sequel on the SNES. You'll thank us later. Taking on a more beat-em-up style of gameplay, Batman Returns was a fun, if short, little adventure resembling the film. It also featured Batmobile and bat -ski boat sequences because why not? Again, if you played it on the SNES, you were in for a treat. Not so much so on the other platforms, unfortunately. Batman the Animated Series – Game Boy Remember the adventures of Batman and Robin? Batman the Animated Series is its predecessor and follows the tone of the popular 90s cartoon show to a T. Its side-scrolling gameplay was typical of the Batman releases at the time, and while it wasn't the best Game Boy title by a long shot, Batman the Animated Series still managed to offer some entertainment to its fans. LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham It's really saying something when the weakest entry in the LEGO Batman series is still really fun. LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham saw the Cape Crusader head into space along with the Justice League to battle Brainiac. Though praised for its humor and change in pace, LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham does fall prey to repetitive gameplay, but it boasts 200 playable characters and even has Conan O'Brien as a guide. If you appreciate the other titles, then LEGO Batman 3 is a no-brainer, which is funny given the Brainiac premise. Batman The first Batman game ever created arrived on the MSX, MSX2, and the ZX Spectrum among other platforms in 1986. It was also an isometric title which saw Batman trying to rescue Robin, and amazingly enough, it was pretty good. Though not much to look at today, this is where it all began, and thankfully, it was received well. Batman Return of the Joker Despite being a sequel to the 1991 platformer based on Tim Burton's first film, Batman Return of the Joker on the NES is its own game. The gameplay is side-scrolling, as many Batman games were at the time, and featured several boss levels. In terms of story, it's not all that unique. The Joker escapes Arkham, wrecks havoc, blah blah blah, but it's still fairly solid for its time. LEGO Batman 2 Fresh off the success of the original, LEGO Batman 2 decided to up the ante further by introducing a ton of different DC superheroes including Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, Superman, Batgirl, and more along with plenty of classic Batman villains. Make no mistake, this is still a game primarily centered on the Dark Knight. Despite a few glitches, it was actually rated higher than the original and offered much better storytelling and gameplay. The Adventures of Batman and Robin Then again, when you talk about animated shows, it's hard to forget the classic Batman the Animated Series. The Adventures of Batman and Robin is named after the show's second season and features the usual gallery of rogues including Scarecrow, Two-Face, and Catwoman along with the Joker, Poison Ivy, and Penguin. It didn't just rely on the strength of its property though. The Adventures of Batman and Robin feature some great challenges and an authentic atmosphere that helps set it apart. Batman The Brave and the Bold The animated TV show was surprisingly good for its time and remains one of the best Batman properties to ever emerge over the past decade. Batman the Brave and the Bold on the Wii and DS isn't quite as awesome, but it still manages some great gameplay and a fairly enthralling experience despite the short playtime. LEGO Batman One of TT Games' most successful properties, LEGO Batman helped showcase the Dark Knight in a, well, altogether different light. Featuring awesome humor, classic villains, and a fairly good diversity of environments, LEGO Batman managed to rise above the usual problems, dictating LEGO games at the time, and become a huge success. Batman the Telltale Series Telltale Games' standalone episodic story of Batman and his alter ego Bruce Wayne, or is it the other way around, only has one episode thus far. However, with its quick action sequences, decision making, and faithful recreations of classic personalities, it's already looking like an extremely fun adventure title. Now if only Telltale could solve the mystery of its PC versions messing up at launch. Batman Arkham Origins Arkham Origins wasn't developed by Rocksteady, instead that honor went to WB Montreal. Honestly, this is the weakest game in the series, and not the best open world game either. That being said, for Batman aficionados, it did offer a bunch of new villains and challenges, a rather interesting encounter system that made its way to Arkham Knight, and a good exploration of the relationship between Batman and the Joker. Batman Arkham Knight 
And here we have one of the more dividing games of last year. Aside from the technical problems on PC, Arkham Knight was praised and panned in equal measure for its use of the Batmobile. That being said, we love the game for its amazing visuals, strong combat, new gameplay mechanics, even if the Batmobile did feel too heavy-handed in a lot of them, and well-detailed world. Batman Arkham Asylum Rocksteady changed the dynamics of superhero video games forever with Batman Arkham Asylum. The third-person action-adventure introduced an awesome blend of brawling, stealth, investigation, and puzzle-solving that captured the essence of Batman like no other game before. Batman Arkham City The success of Arkham Asylum prompted Rocksteady to go bigger, much bigger. Batman Arkham City was the result, and it was hailed as an even better game. With numerous villains and challenges, Arkham City improved the core mechanics and expanded them into the open-world space. Sure, the story might not have been amazing, but it was still decidedly Batman, and decidedly in keeping with the lore's tone. Like this video? Why not give us a like and subscribe? We try and upload amazing videos almost every single day. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.